Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. I can imagine that I'm not the only one who is feeling a bit stressed, a bit tense, a bit exhausted during these trying times of 2020. So I think after this year, I think we're all gonna need to print t-shirts. I survived 2020, fingers crossed, we will make it through this year. I don't know what will happen. But before that, I wanna make a quick video where I can help you unwind and check back in with your inner child and have fun even in times like these. So every personality type has a different association to what is fun and what is serious. And that's very important. When you talk about relaxing and recharging and getting energy, other personality types talk about different things. So while every one of us want to have fun and while every one of us needs to have and need to show responsibility at times, we all have different ideas of what is fun. And what I found is, uh, the fun function, the play function is different for every personality type. Now we'll be walking through it. Now what I've found is ESXCAs are people that tend to find extroverted sensing to be the fun function. That means when an ESTJ or an ESFJ is looking for relief, they go out, they talk to people, they connect, they have fun, they try to do something more intense, something more active for them going out and being on is something that is stimulating. And I want to contrast that against the INXP, INFP or INTP personality type, because for an INFP or an INTP, it's the other way around, but that's so interesting. For an INFP or an INTP, going out is something stressful. Being out, doing things, being active is something that drains you of energy. So, when you're trying to hang out with an ESTJ or an ESFJ as an INFP or an INTP, be mindful of that. Be mindful of how you might have a bit of an adult-child relationship. So while you have to be the adult, the one that's serious in a social situation, the one that keeps everything in check, the one that makes sure that everything is okay, the ESTJ or the ESFJ will be the one that basically is like, okay, let's go, let's just go, let's have fun, let's just not think about it so much. So an INFP or an INFP has a different way of recharging. And if you're an INFP right now feeling stressed, what I recommend is daydream. Daydreaming, mental stimulation, visualization, ideas, exploring theories, reading about philosophy, you know, those kind of activities, those are the best thing for you if you need to recharge. So if you're feeling exhausted, if you're feeling tired, what you wanna do is really open a book that makes you think. You want to create an intellectual mental playground where you can really explore and go down the rabbit hole. You wanna look at different theories, different perspectives. You wanna hear about uh, what Flat Earth thinks and why they think the way they do. And you wanna explore different conspiracy theories and you wanna just have fun, you know, just learning about these wacky ideas that people have, these wacky perspectives, these crazy thoughts and points of views. Because for you, ideas are something fun. For an INF, INF, INFP or an INTP, it's all about just joking about them, playing around with introverted intuition. And if you look at, uh, for example, an ENXEA, an ENFJ or an ENTJ, uh, the interesting thing is, you know, people say, okay, uh, the four unconscious functions, they don't exist, basically. We, don't, we never talk about them. We never know how they work. But it's really quite simple. For an ENFJ or an ENTJ, going out, exploring ideas, learning new things, that is how you have fun. For an ENFJ or an ENTJ, consuming a lot of different ideas and opinions and her hearing about different thoughts and going uh, really questioning people and having a brainstorming session that's having fun so if you have a manager that is like oh let's have a brainstorm session let's talk about then create something let's just uh, create boundary less let's not have any rules for creativity let's just uh, just do it that's often an ENFJ or an ENTJ, because for them, that's how you really have fun with ideas. For them, that's just about recharge. If you're an ISFP or an ISTP, play is uh, found in introverted sensing. That's uh, quite interesting, because I think a lot of people associate introverted sensing as the boring, sen boring function. So how can you have fun with introverted sensing? 
well, it's quite simple, really. For an ISFP or an ISTP, it's about, you know, going jogging every day. It's about having, like, those small routines, like uh, things you can do, things that will give you energy, things that will get you fuel. You know, it's creating these fun acts of self-discipline, like saying, oh, I can only eat candy at, after nine o'clock on Saturdays or Fridays, so I can only do this, them, or that. It's like these, it's creating these fun rules that are more about just having fun with the discipline, having fun with rules, having fun with order and stability and finding new ways to organize things and going like, oh, I can actually put everything like this, or oh, I can do that that way. Those are the kind of ways an ISFP or an ISTP do things, you know, that can be coming up with your own stage screenplay. If you're an actor or a musician, like your own new wacky outfit or weird way of dressing, you know, it's just having fun with the outfit style, with structure, with uh, all kinds of things. For an INFJ or an ISFJ, play is really a matter of reconnecting with yourself. For an INFJ or an ISFJ, recharge by taking time to introspect. So really as an INFJ, it's very important that you check in with your emotional state and you should do it often because you can get into this like work frenzy where it's just numbers, where it's just competition, where it's just pushing yourself to the next level, where it's just statistics, which amount of viewers, amount of subscribers. I don't know what it is for you as an INFJ, if it is, uh, uh, you know, sales goals at work or whatever it can be. It can be that you focus too much on numbers and you can focus too much on performance. You can feel too much pressure to TE. But in reality, uh, for you, it's very important to be able to have fun and let go of those things. So let go of those things by just taking time to reflect, self-reflect, why am I doing things? How do I feel? How am I doing? And allow yourself to also have fun with yourself and to play with your character and identity and uh, just to find fun new ways to express yourself. It can be writing poetry. It can be short stories. It can be something that just gets you uh, to really, in a carefree setting, no performance issues, nothing to work, no, nothing need to be output. Just play with different ideas, write or just whatever comes to your head put it down, just think about it from that kind of perspective. Introverted feeling is necessarily your go-to drug. And that's uh, whenever you need escape, whenever you need relief, just go into FI and uh, let that be kind of sanctuary for yourself. So find the sanctuary for yourself, a place where you can feel at ease, where a place where you can feel harmony, a place where you can feel good and where nobody is there to push you or pressure you to anything. As an ENFP or an ESFP, a lot of time play is expressed interpersonally. So for you, having fun is quality time with other people, connections, relationships, those kind of things are really how you recharge. So as an ENFP or an ESFP, it's often that, uh, yeah, you need to make sure that uh, you have good and healthy relationships that are pressure free where you can just hang out and where there is no expectations where there is no pressure nobody telling you to do anything nobody uh, pushing you to be a certain way nobody um, no work demands or expectations for how you should dress where you can just really just express yourself and do what you feel good about with other people so also as an ENFP or an ESFP, it's very good to be able to laugh at yourself a bit and laugh at about relationships and to have and see the fun and humor in connecting with other people and to just be able to let loose with other people. That's something that's very important to an ENFP. If you're an ENTP or an ESTP, a funny thing about this, these two types is uh, they have fun through work. They are one of the few types that actually say they enjoy work, that actually say, oh, that's actually, that it's actually something that they get energy from. For them, a lot of time, uh, this is both the pro and a con, because a lot of time at work, you need to be serious, you need to be professional, you need to be hardcore. But often how an ENTP or an ESTP goes through work, it's more like a kind of laugh more like a sense of fun, more like a sense of, oh, this is just uh, something we do. Uh, uh, it's more about having fun with other people or with a uh, task or with the challenge. And 
a lot of time competition for these two types is about just having fun, a bit, just about laughing, just about recharging. So a lot of time when an ENTP or an ESTP is uh, uh, arguing with you or competing with you or doing something, it's not because uh, to pressure you, it's not to uh, push you, it's just to help you relax because that's how they relax and that's how they feel they help you relax. So that's how you should think about it. When an ENTP does, does these things, it's not because they're trying to pressure you, it's because they're trying to just have fun and that's how they have fun. Finally, as an INTJ or an ISTJ, fun is normally found in TI. So just looking at something critically and also looking at and thinking about how absurd something is. How can things work this way? How can people be so incompetent? How can people make these kind of mistakes? You know, uh, read through a Reddit of the 10 stupidest things people have ever done. As an INTJ or an ISTJ, that's pure humor. For an INTJ, it's like, whoa, I can't believe people are that stupid. Oh my God, I can't believe people would do such a thing. For these types, a lot of time, uh, looking at the efficiency and looking at how things can be done better, looking at things critically, looking at things logically. There are lots of things that don't make sense. And when you connect with those things and when you recognize that, yeah, our society is really messed up and a lot of things are out of order and a lot of things are inefficient and a lot of things are done irrationally. Uh, it's for an INTJ or an ISTJ, it's kind of like, a, wow, that's uh, crazy. And that's also something that gives them like a sense of energy and like thrill and a sense of, huh. That's uh, really uh, crazy, but also in the same way, it's uh, really an energy boost because I can fix those things. I can make those things better. At the end of the day, recharging is about getting the energy necessary to complete and see through your purpose in life. So if you have a bigger goal in life, uh, often the goal comes from the flow function or something similar and so when you look at the flow function uh, the dominant often called and when you think about your mission or your goal also think about do I have the energy to complete these goals do I have the power in me do I have the resilience to handle the stress because um, that's very important too you can't just push 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 yourself to succeed you have to also uh, allow yourself to have fun and relax and take a breath in between every push. So every time you do something, also allow yourself a moment to laugh, a moment to have fun, a moment to not be so serious. Otherwise, yeah, eventually you're going to burn out. So I hope this video helped you as whatever amateur type you are to recharge and uh, to point you in the right direction. And if you want more help with this or if you have any personal experience with this let me know in the comments down below now i want to say thanks everyone for joining in and uh, i hope to see you all in the next video